Hey, I'm Lauren Rosella. Today we have a 45 to 50 minute high intensity interval training workout to get you in shape. I've got Leah, Brittany, and Nicole joining me today. We have advanced variations and modifications to give you the best workout in this 45 minute routine. Hey everyone, 45 minutes of high intensity interval training. I have with me Brittany on my right, as well as Nicole and Leah joining me today. So Brittany's going to show you the advanced variation. Myself, I'm going to do the modified version of each exercise, but we're just going to start with a basic warm up. So we're going to take our feet about hip width apart, and we're just going to go down into a basic squat, lower and lift down and up. Contrary to my wardrobe, it's about 48 degrees out here, so we're a little chilly to start with, but things are gonna heat up pretty quickly with this high intensity interval workout. Deep breaths in and out. Anytime during this workout, if you need to take breaks, go for it. We will have three blocks of exercises. 12 minutes each with a minute in break in between. So you have lots of options here. You can also do the first block and be done with it after that. Four more here. Three, two, you'll see cookie as well. Last one, we're gonna take that left leg back, down and up. Reverse lunge. Make sure if you look to your front leg, that knee does not come past that toe. Weight stays centered. Just warming up those quads and glutes before we begin. Is she distracting y'all? <laughs> Thankfully she matches the grass. All right, we've got four more here. Three, two, last one. All right, stand up nice and tall. Reach those fingertips overhead, lifting that rib cage off your pelvis. Exhale, we're gonna swan dive to a full forward fold. Big back stretch here. Feel that stretch down the back of the hamstrings into the glutes. Then another deep breath in as we sweep those arms out to the side all the way back up and arms down by our sides. We're gonna roll those shoulders back and down. We have a couple dominant shoulder exercises in this workout today. So anytime you need to modify or take breaks, just follow my lead. One more time, roll those shoulders back and down. Now we're gonna fold over, reach for your toes and start walking your hands out the length of your mat till you're in full plank position. Deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, belly button pinned to the spine. Bring those feet nice and narrow, squeezing those inner thighs together. Deep breath in and exhale into a downward facing dog. Lift that tailbone to the sky, ears between your biceps. Deep breath into high plank, hinging forward shoulders over the wrists. Deep breath in. We're gonna come into a slow mountain climber, right, left in three, two, one, right, left, right, left. Trying to stabilize through that torso, shoulders square with the floor. We've got four more, three, two, and one. Downward facing dog, lift that tailbone to the sky, looking towards your knees. Deep breath in, exhale, and inhale to hinge forward into your high plank. Dropping down to your knees, we're gonna come into a set of eight push-ups just to warm up that chest and triceps. In four, three, two, one, we go down and up. Down, up. Six more. Four more, exhale as you press up. Three more. Two, and one, all the way back up into your high 
plank and walk those hands back to your feet. Relax your necks, hold it here in a full forward fold. And take a nice deep breath in, soften those knees, hands on our thighs and roll it slowly all the way up. Shoulders back and down, great job. We've got a squat jump to start with in three, two, one. 45 seconds go. So you can follow Brittany on the left side of the screen. She's showing you the advanced variation. Your modifier, you're with me right here. Excellent. These girls are gonna warm up soon, I promise. Hopefully by the next segment, we'll see some sweatshirts come off. We've got 15 seconds left. You get a brief 15 second recovery. Then we're gonna go into inchworm. Remember to grab water anytime you need it. Three, two, and one. 15 seconds of rest. Keep moving, don't stop our inchworm. We're gonna walk down to our feet, walk it all the way out into high plank. Watch, Brittany. I'm sorry, there's no modification or advanced variation. We're all together here, let's go. Walk it all the way down, walk out into inchworm, and then walk it back. Arms overhead, fold. This feels a little like a recovery here. Stabilize using that core. You want a little bit more here, narrow up that stance, creating a little less stability in your plank. 10 seconds left, let's try to get one more in here. We get a 15 second recovery. Great job. All right, we go into our T push-ups. This is basically a push-up with a rotational twist. Watch Brittany for your advanced variation. Watch me for the modification. In three, two, one. You're in push-up position. Push-up, rotate. Push-up, rotate. Notice I, myself, am doing these push-ups and rotational side plank on my knees. Brittany is doing a Spider-Man push-up where she draws her knee toward her same size shoulder as she goes into push-up position. Down and up. Anytime you need to, you can come down to your modification with me in three, two, one. Walk it all the way back and stand it up 15 seconds to our jumping jacks. <sighs> Advanced variation, star jumps, modifier, step touch. I'm gonna do a regular jumping jack just to get warm. 45 seconds. Great job. These blocks will get progressively more difficult and we will slowly and surely warm up with each segment. 20 seconds left. Stay on the balls of your feet, core engaged. Control your breathing. Three, two, one. Rest, great job. Back to the top, squat jumps, or you're with me. Step squats. Whew. In three, two, one, go. Hips back. Even when you're doing these jump squats, it's really tempting to start rolling onto the balls of your feet. Stay with that weight in the back heel, of the back of your heels. How are we doing ladies? I can't see them, so you have to tell me if they're slacking behind me. 
15 seconds. The people I picked for this video don't ever slack in class. It's partly why I picked them. Four, three, two, and rest. Take a breath. We're back to inchworm. This 15 seconds goes by so fast, right? All right, in five, four, three, two, go. So that arm's overhead, that's a great variation option. Here comes the dog. <laughs> About halfway through. Are we warm yet, ladies? Good. So good. My fingertips are so a little chilly. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, we're going into those T push ups. So let's go ahead and get down on the ground already in position for those T push ups. Remember your modifier on your knees. Advanced variation is with that Spider Man push up and go. Just to be fair, I offered every one of these girls the opportunity to do the modified version of these exercises. And they were all like, nah, we want to work out today. Great work, everybody. Fifteen seconds. Just like I'll say to you, if any of these ladies want to come down to a modified version at any time you can, we've still got one round left after this. Three, two, and one. All right, walk it back, standing position. We're back to jumping jacks. Is anybody sweating? 48 degrees. Mike's bundled up over on the sidelines. And jumping jacks, go. Did we give up on those star jumps? <laughs> All right, we are still doing them, yes. Great work. I think you two should tag team the advanced variation. Nicole and I will just, yeah, we'll just chill. <laughs> 15 seconds. version is really quite nice actually. We'll see if any of us will change roles on the next round. All right, we've got 20 seconds left here. Great job. Cookie needs to be in front of the camera. That's what divas do. Three, two, and one. Good work. All right, back to those inchworms. Deep breaths in. Arms overhead. Exhale. Three, two, one. Go for it. Great work, 20 seconds left. The 
dogs having a good old time in the background. Last eight seconds. All the way up and rest. T push ups, let's drop it down. Whew. All right, T push ups modified on your knees or Spider Man push ups. Three, two, one, go. Remember to keep that good solid plank position all the way through, even if you're on your knees. This is a good dynamic core exercise, regardless of whether you choose advanced or modified variations. Keep control of your breath all the way through it. And don't be afraid to take a break if you need it. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, stand it all the way up, jumping jacks. Final set, and then we go into our next block. Are you chilly back there? Director Mike, four, three, two, and go. Remember to stay on the balls of your feet. Nice and controlled. If you get too tired here, do not be afraid to come into a step touch. That's always an option. Last 10 seconds. Then you get a full minute break. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. Enjoy your recovery. We'll be right back. Welcome back, second block. I hope you enjoyed a few videos and pictures from our recent trip out west. All right, so we're gonna start, um, let me set our timer in 10 seconds with a reverse lunge. Modifier, your depth is not gonna be so deep. Advanced variation, you're gonna do a pulse, pulse, split switch, and go. So take a look at Leah on the right side of the screen or Brittany on the left side for your advanced variation. It's gonna be a pulse, pulse, and split jump. <sighs> Again, just like in our warm up, we do not want to let our knee go over our toe. Keep our core engaged and our chest lifted, keeping that spine stacked for better balance. We've got about 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, and one, great. All right, we're gonna go into a plank shoulder tap. So you're in high plank position. Narrow stance for more advanced knees for a, very, for a uh, modification. And we're just gonna alternate a shoulder tap in three, two, one, go. Be very aware of where your body is in this position. Solid core minimal movement in those shoulders and hips. We want to avoid rotating our hips when we do that shoulder tap. 
This ensures that we're engaging our core throughout the movement. Don't allow those hips to drop or lift up to the sky. 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come over into a seated position for a hollow body hold. Got a couple options here. Modifier is gonna be low, feet are on the ground. Regular move is gonna be here. Advanced variation, if you choose arms overhead, then go. You can also soften your knees, knee bend. We really wanna focus on that core being nice and engaged. Even harder, if you choose to, is to lower your legs and your upper body as close to the floor as possible. Pinning that navel to the spine. Quads are lifted and engaged. Are we breathing? I can hear some of you breathing. <laughs> Yep, me too. I got the shakes too. And I can't see the timer, so there's no telling. There it is. All right, rest. All right, now we're gonna come all the way up to standing position for a lateral lunge to a knee drive. We're gonna start with our left leg. It's just gonna be our right leg, but we're mirroring you. Right leg steps, left leg steps out, and we drive to the center. Lunge and knee, down and up. You're on the wrong side, huh? Notice Leah on my left, your right, has a little hop in the middle. That gives her a little more cardio. I'm checking my time because we're switching now. Other leg, lunge, knee drive, knee drive. Use your core here. Drive that left shoulder toward that right knee. Almost there. Rest. All right, round one done. Back to those alternating reverse lunges. I'm almost sweating. Our sh That's okay. That's, there you go. And go. Remember your variation here. And don't feel stuck to it either. If you have to come back to that modifier for your second round and go back up to that advanced variation for the third round, that's fine. 20 seconds left. Our shadows are starting to creep in. It's winter here in Raleigh, North Carolina. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. 15 seconds rest, we go into our shoulder taps. On to our hands and toes in plank position. In four, three, two, one, go. Part of why I love living in Raleigh, North Carolina, is you can do an outdoor workout in a tank top in the middle of November. And it's not too bad. Me too. I think I'm on the wrong hand. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Starting to shake a little bit. Three, two, and one. All right, into your seated position. So I challenge you at home, and I'm gonna challenge these girls too, to maybe go for a little bit harder variation on this particular round. Let's try it and see what happens. No one's gonna die. All right, hold. Oh, as soon as those arms go up, they get shaky. <laughs> shaky, shaky. Oh, we're about to get kissed. <laughs> Coming in hot. Coming in hot. <laughs> okay. Can you tell me what time we 
have on the clock, Cookie? <laughs> See, that's what she did to me the whole video. <laughs> oh, we're losing it. Oh, <laughs> oh we're almost there. And the coffee. And <laughs> rest. Oh, that one was tough. All right, lateral lunge to knee drive. Get ready for it. We're starting on our right. You're starting on your left. Or whatever you want to do here. And I'll tell you when to switch. And go. Really engage that core with that twist. Add that little cardio burst if you want with that hop in the middle and switch sides. Twist. Almost there. We got one more round on this block. And rest. All right, last round, and then we'll get another minute break for our final block. All right, we're back to alternating reverse lunges or pulsing lunge to switch. Three, two, one, go. I give you permission here to take creative liberty. Any variation or modification that you choose, do it. You may have a variation that you like. I encourage you to do it here. Halfway. Really enjoy that 15 second recovery. Really try to catch your breath. Grab water if you need it. Five, four, three, two, Rest. All right, plank shoulder taps. Deep breaths in, out through your mouth, control your breath, and then we go right back into it in four, three, two, and go. Remember, a wider stance with your feet, the more challenging this is on your core to stabilize. You're about halfway through. Can you narrow up your feet just a little bit more? Maybe if you've started with a modifier, challenge yourself to try a full plank with really, really wide feet. I can feel my hips starting to shift side to side as I'm getting tired. Three, two, rest. All right, hollow body hold. I feel like time stops on this one. Yeah. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Trembles, got the trembles. Oh, remember to pull that belly in. Try to anchor your spine toward the ground. Any discomfort in your low back, drop those feet down to the ground. one before your minute recovery Whew. and go
Remember that base knee stays straight the whole time. And recover. Great job. Enjoy these photos from our trip out west. We'll back to you in one minute. We're gonna stay for a five minute stretch and recovery, but we're gonna get right back into it. So we got 10 seconds to set up as you can see. Some of my ladies behind me are already setting up with their hands behind their head in a prisoner squat jump or squat. You've got a modifier right next to me with Nicole. I'm gonna do the exercise and the two girls on my end are going to be my advanced variation. So these prisoner squats, force you to stay in proper alignment with your spine, force you to keep your chest open and your hips back, and keep your eyes on me. That'll ensure that you're keeping proper form here. Modifier always to come with those hands straight out in front of you like Nicole is doing to my right. And recover, elbow plank to hip extension. So we're gonna come down onto our elbows and toes here. I'm gonna modify on my knees. We're gonna lift one leg at a time up in the air. In three, two, one, go. So we don't have an advanced variation for this exercise because it really is kind of advanced to begin with. The focus should be on stabilizing those hips and shoulders so you don't swing from side to side. Engaging those transfer of transverse abdominals and controlling the breath. And anytime you need to, dropping down to those knees. In five, four, three, two, Ding. Sounds like the turkey. All right, we're gonna face that direction. I was showing you guys earlier. All right, hips up, crab walk, toe tap, alternating. Reach for those toes. Your advanced variation, again, is not gonna be much different. Your knee's gonna stay straight and you're gonna reach as high as you can to get that toe. If this starts to be too much of a challenge or your wrists are a little weak to hold your body weight, drop those hips down to the floor. You're still getting that core work here. 10 more seconds. Advanced variation, we're going fast, as fast as you can handle. Go. Now anytime your heart rate gets too high, bring those arms down. Those arms being overhead are gonna get your heart rate up higher. Halfway. 
was a very slow 45 seconds, wasn't it? <sighs> 10 more seconds, keep it up. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Recover 15 seconds. We're back to the top. Two more rounds and we're done. Are we ready? <sighs> Deep breath in. Hands behind your head or out in front of you. Feet hip width apart and go. Chest lifted. Remember, anytime this gets to be too much, hands on your thighs. Maybe not go so quite so deep into that squat. Halfway. Fifteen seconds left. Three, two, one. Rest. Elbow plank to hip extension. All the way out in that elbow plank. Focusing on our form here. Three, two, one. Alternating hip extensions. Really focus on lifting from that hip. Pull that navel into the spine. Shoulder blades pressed away from one another, pushing up through the center of your spine. About halfway. Ten seconds. Rising up off those hips and go. I started on the wrong leg. I'm going to join you. Remember, drop those hips anytime it gets to be too much. The very nature of this workout is pretty advanced. Seeing that it's 45 seconds of high intensity work, followed by 15 seconds of rest. So modifications are okay here. And rest, all right. High knees. Literally five minutes left. Five minutes, that's it. Oh. High knees. I'm gonna try to get this edited and live so Leah can do it in her backyard on vacation. Fifteen seconds, get those knees up. Can we go a little bit faster for the last ten seconds? Oh yeah. Three, two, one. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Slacker. All right, prisoner squats. Go. Oh yeah. Oh. 20 seconds. And 10. 
weight in those heels. Four, three, two, rest. Your legs have to be burning with that yeah. advanced variation. All right, elbow plank to hip extension. Five, four, three, two, go. The tendency here is when you get tired to start lifting those hips up in the air. Really try to focus on keeping those hips in line with your shoulders and heels. It's really great to do these kind of workouts in a mirror. So you can check your form periodically. Because you don't have me checking your form. See how they all adjusted when I started looking? Three, two, one. All right, crab walk, toe tap. I know it was hard. I know it was. Literally two minutes left. And then we get to stretch. Nice little easy stretch. Three, two, one. Wave high to the drone. Great work, everybody. Great. Turkey's done. All right, high knees, high knees, and we're done. Let's make this our best high knees. Whew. Three, two, one, go. Take about 30 seconds. minutes to get your heart rate back down before we come down to the ground so we're just gonna come down to our mat or to the ground onto our knees hands in front of us we're gonna shift our hips back into a child's pose just really letting our hips settle into our heels take a nice deep breath and let your belly and ribcage rest on the tops of your thighs and then we're gonna drop those hips slightly toward the right side of our mat and take our hands to the left side of our mat We should feel that in our right hip, in the right side of our rib cage, maybe even into our right tricep. And then we're gonna slowly walk those hands to the right side of our mat, hips to the left side. <sighs> and 
and release it. Bring it back to the center. Come up onto our hands and knees. We're gonna pull our left leg forward, but you're gonna put your right leg forward. We're mirroring you. Right knee is bent, knee stacked over that ankle. Hips tilted under slightly so we get a really nice stretch down the front of that left hip flexor. We're gonna reach those arms up to the sky and then we're gonna hinge to our right side, feeling a little deeper stretch in that left hip flexor. And bring it back to center, straightening out that front leg, framing that right leg with those hands, straightening out that knee. We should feel a nice deep stretch down the back of that hamstring. If you want a little more stretch here, you can take your left hand, cross it over to the right side of your mat. Oh yeah. And bring it back to center. Take that foot back, back into tabletop position. And then we're gonna bring our left leg forward. We are bringing our right leg forward. Nice, sturdy bend in that knee. Knee stacked over that left ankle. Tilting that pelvis under so you feel a really exaggerated stretch in that right hip flexor this time, reaching those arms up and over to the left side as you feel a deeper stretch down into that right hip flexor. And bring it back to center, straightening out that left leg hinging forward. Deep breath in, feel that nice stretch in the back of that leg, and then take that right hand, crossing it over to the left side of your mat. And release it back to center. We're gonna walk it all the way down to our stomach, coming up onto those elbows. Big stretch open through that chest, elongating that neck, chin parallel to the floor. And we're gonna reach around with that right hand and grab that right ankle. We're not mirroring this time, because I forgot. If this is difficult for you, you can always lower down to your chest pressing the top of that right foot into your hand, feeling a really deep stretch down that quadricep, and release it, switch sides. Grab that other foot, pressing those hips down into the ground. And release it, tuck those toes under, lift that tailbone to the sky in a downward facing dog. Pressing that chest down toward the floor. <sighs> Take all of the weight out of your left foot and drive that right heel to the ground. And switch sides. release it. Walk those hands all the way back to your feet. Slowly roll your spine all the way up to standing position. Bring those arms all the way up to the sky. Lace those fingers together and drop those hands behind your head in a tricep stretch. And take a deep breath in. Exhale down. Lace those fingers in the front. Round that back. Separate those shoulder blades. Take a deep breath in, lift those arms one more time overhead, and exhale, release them all the way down. Great job today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next time. Thanks to these ladies for joining me as well. Have a great day. Hello, 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 hello. I know, I love you too. All right, so we've got prisoner.